So one is 90% of retail traders are losing money. Exactly, yes. Right? Uh, as we discussed earlier, there are other participants, including institutions, including arbitrages, including the high frequency traders. Yep. So they are also kind of uh, probably making money. We don't have the stats of how much money they are making. Of course, the intermediaries, whether they are exchanges, uh, uh, whether uh, uh, they are the, uh, 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 the, the, the brokers, they are also making money and uh, you can see their profitability has also gone up 7, 8x uh, in the last uh, few years. right? right. But uh, I think in aggregate uh, and uh, that SEBI report what you quoted uh, from earlier uh, provide very stark data about how much money retail is actually losing right. uh, both in uh, absolute amounts or, and also as a percentage, right? Uh, uh, as per that report, 90%, so 9 out of 10 traders lose money. Uh, if you uh, look at in value terms, uh, of the total amount bet by the retailers, 80% of the money is actually lost, right? Uh, only 20%. So if... Goes back to the retailer. Uh, goes back. So if I say all the retailers is one person, yeah. if they are put in 100 rupees, only 20 comes back and 80 is lost. And that's where the analogy to this fantasy yeah, sports exactly. com yes. comes in because any company you look at it, they typically have a 15% uh, take rate. Right? Right. So if uh, all people who are building their uh, cricket team, uh, their pool is uh, put in, uh, only about 10 to 15 is retained by the company and 85 is distributed to all the gamers. Right. So the odds are exactly opposite. Yes. Here you lose 80%, then yeah. you would have gotten 80%. 80, 80%. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to bet, maybe online giving is a better, uh, better uh, than options trading. Yeah.